Hello everyone, my name is Drumat and today we're going to do a Grandmaster mid game in which we'll be against Ahri, against Kiana Jungle. I went for armor runes because I thought Kiana is obviously mid and Kindred Jungle, which would be normal, but I guess, yeah. I'm playing Talia mid with Dark Harvest, Taste of Blood, Eyeball Collection, Ravenous Hunter, Mana Flow Band, Transcendence, and these rune stats. Basically, Basically, I'm trying to play with Dark Harvest to test the waters. I also have Corrupting for lots of fighting. We need to actually catch this guy. We need to do that. We need to fight a lot early on. And I'm playing with Mana Flow because I really wanted to go Secondary Transcendence. And I thought this one will be the best instead of Presence of Mind. It's not a good replacement necessarily, but we did do have Corrupting Potion. I'm going for Lyandris into Sorg Shoes into uh, likely Zonia because, well... Apparently we're invading, so we're gonna... We can still go there. Alright, or not. Alright, I'm gonna back off to the mid lane and we're gonna try to poke around the fight. We're gonna try to push, we're gonna try to fight the Kiana. She's gonna try to throw a Q at me. We don't necessarily have an easy time against Akri, especially after she gets level 6, but at least we can at least match her push, if not out-push her at times. We should theoretically out-push her. Alright, so I also expect a random gank from the Kiana, so I'm gonna put an E down here, I'm gonna hit her. I do have, I do have a bit of luck, as you can see I have 77. MS, I'm not used to that. Also, I'm gonna cast a Q from here. Alright, gonna let her do her thing here. Gonna miss that one. But I can get a mana flow band stack. Dodge the charm, she didn't throw it. And yeah, we're going to word deeply. Not necessarily deeply, but around here. We want to see if Kiana comes from that side. Gonna get that nasty minion. And this one as well. Oh man, I'm not used to the less damage because this doesn't give you the ring plus attack damage against minions. So, okay, we dived. Okay, that went well for us, it seems. All right, so we are at the same farm. Good flash from the Atrox, but unfortunately. Unfortunately, they outplayed them there, and Janna actually got the kill. I'm curious though, why I have a Nunu and why he doesn't spam ganks. I mean, generally when you have a Nunu, what you expect to happen is... Man, how much, how much CF do you see? That. Ah, okay. Now, now is the gank coming in. <laughs> okay, make her flash. there but I can definitely fight you I don't have the Atrox here oh no I'm gonna throw that I'm gonna die here likely don't have mana it's fine though but Kiana is already very fed she's quite strong I should have played with Presence of Mind in this context because I used all my stacks of Dark Harvest and that cost us as you can see. Yep, definitely a Fiesta but it's good for the Dark Harvest stacks but not really good because Ahri got double buffs and on top there is quite a big CS gap and the wave is pushed in the other way around so at least Nunu has the farming. But again, this is a game where it would have been better to actually have actually have the... Okay, if he hits that. That was some random movement speed that I hate from the W probably. But if you miss it, I can't really help you. I would want to lose that buff though. So she's already extremely ahead. She didn't recall there, that's what it, that not surprised me. I would have expected her to... Okay, 
be nice. Nice, that, that was amazing from Janna. This Janna is a really good player. Okay, I can auto attack you to that. It's fine, this Janna is insane, man. He legit came mid and did the work of the Nunu alone. This is, this is what separates... I'm gonna wait here. This is what separates a good support, a good Janna from a great Janna. Basically, this kind of roamings. And she's not an Alistar to have easy to hit CC, well... What just happened here? Alright, now I have to push it. I cast it uh, accidentally, that W, don't know how. But at least we get the Drake. I'm gonna push this in. Honestly, I don't think I even need to recall at this. I need to make use of those double buffs. And I'm curious if I can deep work this. Alright, shit. She's level 6. So after it's level 6, we gotta be careful to that. We're not. She can just run me down if she wants to. And she will likely try to. So that's why we are just using a Q here. But not, not getting into the range. Okay, I want her to cast at least 2 old stacks before the combo. I can move towards bot. Yep, I can. Let me can move towards bot here. This is a good opportunity for me. Okay. We also can catch the Kindred there. Ah, uh, she should be dead. Okay, that's fine. That was an amazing roll. Can I have some help here? your abilities okay I got the drama it's fine it's fine uh, I'm not sure if this should be pushed uh, I don't think it should okay it's fine yeah yeah it's fine I uh, actually gained a lot by this even though I gave a shutdown to her yeah, Morgana is just gonna keep the wave in a favorable position for... I should go here a ring. I don't want to. I could go for a ring because I have 6 Dark Harvard stacks, so I will see. If I get another kill, I will think about a Dorans. And not a Dorans. Wah! That's the name of that. Eh, Dark Seal, yes. They, I think they actually destroyed a bit the UI again, because when I started the game today... I had colorblind mode enabled, I have keybinding missing, I could not press space anymore to get a... To get a champion centered like this. Okay, she... she is winning. I'm gonna take this trade. Definitely good in our favor and I want to leave the wave in such way and manner that uh, Atrox outplayed there. I want Atrox to have a nice wave here and he has an insanely nice wave there. Can we get that? Okay. Let's push this in. Cast the Q. Get everything down. Another Q. And I think bot is actually winning. I don't want to get plates. I want to actually... Man, you went there. I want to actually do a wrong bot here. I could. Okay. Simple enough. Good one there. Good. Look at this insane, <laughs> insane jungle skill. <laughs> Hello, Kiana. I'm so pissed. They have gone so much more there. Let's make her use her ult so that I don't. Uh, so that I don't. What? I'm gonna get heavily damaged here, so I have to go out. 
Yeah, she flashed too. I can't escape this. I misplayed heavily. I, I've seen that she came around my way, but I couldn't do much. She will cast salt. Yep. Get inside the root! Whoa. Okay, you could even get the other guy. I inted so much. Man, I'm pissed. I hate the fact that it's so simple to int on mid compared to jungle. In jungle, it's very, very hard to actually int compared to mid unless you are against... I don't know. Uh, if she gets a double here, it's bad. If you're against the Kha'Zix, then it's relatively simple to int, but... Yeah, I know she has nothing. So this should be a free kill, right? Why are you staying, man? I'm tilted. You tilted me by staying here. I think I could get her. Yep, yep, this could be a herald. I must finish my task. Definitely could be an easy herald. And that means we get a lot more plates. Look at that. it so it's on me but I want to plant it on mid I should have got away right, or I could just go bot what's happening here I mean I can't really do much here I need to get out I might die here if she went this way. Yeah, I dodged the charm, but I can't dodge the insane damage that she outputs. Damn it! Because they were coming from this side and I had no other way out. <sighs> I'm tilted. Alright. Uh, Sork Shoes. I mean, I will get a ring. I've, it's late, but I will probably stack it up. I could put this on mid. She used ult, she used everything. This is the moment where I need to actually go mid and, and plant the herald because this is going to be huge. Also not really that close. I think she ate it. Oh, why? I will ignore that. I don't care. Ahri is coming, I know that. So I'm just gonna throw random stuff here. Alright, look at that place, man. Ah, ha, ha. Amazing. Amazing, man. Okay, I could go bot. Didn't get spotted by that. Questionable. Questionable play from the <laughs> guy. <laughs> also, this is free, yeah. This is free. So look, already two stacks. <laughs> Kiana, I think Kiana is massively too to me. I think I'm going here and I might be extremely suicidal. God damn it. If I die here, I totally deserve it. Only in seconds. Uh, okay. Ah, help me! I missed that. Man! 
I'm winning this, but I'm hinting this. <laughs> I did do some early good plays, supposedly. But let's get that. They, that Kiana is tilted. Kiana started well, but then just hinted a lot with this plays. And also Kaiser is pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, so we can get the match right here for sure. We can get it. And we could get the uh, stopwatch. Very late Mejais, but definitely worth it. 12 stacks of Dark Harvest. Although you can see Ahri is ahead in CS and I'm not ahead in gold, I'm sure on that because I got the plates, but that was some good smart and good uh, thinking by the actual Herald decision. Oops, both were at the same time. What's your point, Morgana? Seriously, what's your point? I wanted the stacks. I got the stacks. Okay, they got somehow the offering. Hello, Sion. More stacks for me. Don't care, I'm milling. Ah, I wanted the kill. We are already festering it properly. I hate the fact that Sion dies so insanely hard. I want this. This is mine. Mine. <laughs> he has bounty from farming. Yeah, it's, it's fun. Alright. So, schedule of the videos. Mid video, then other champion guide, then likely jungle because i really enjoy this seems to be a win don't want to jinx it but the guy outplays her i hear a play her nice i hinted hinted massively all right we get this this eh, can't even talk and then we move towards cyan we can kill the cyan but we don't think i don't think i have infinite mana for it so if he manages to survive a bit or dodge some spells, then it's going to be pretty hard to actually kill him. We do have 10 stacks and if, as you can read here at 10 stacks you get 10% of my speed, which is pretty amazing. Our uh, ability haste is at 35. I won't continue because there are a lot of them coming in. I think this is worth it. Yep, we're definitely getting cornered. I'm gonna sit here and wait for the Kiana. Kindred is there. Okay, this is the ult. Don't even need to stopwatch. I thought I would. Apparently not. That was a great, great up. That was a great, great ult for me. It's, it was really, really nice ult. I am mean, I'm proud of that one. <laughs> and this is 20 LP again. I could reach challenger, I guess. <laughs> this is hard, but playing Tlia mid is much more hard than jungle right now because obviously jungle is OP but in general Tlia mid mains have a lot more to do than Tlia bot and Tlia bot have a lot more to do than Tlia jungle because in the, in the jungle you can actually pass out CS and just not int. You can not int if you are careful about it. On mid there isn't that choice necessarily because you're gonna get You're gonna get this. Woo! I survived. Gonna get that Irelia matchup. Gonna get that Z matchup. And in jungle, if you ban Kazix or Xen or Olaf, you already. They aren't that 
often picked. I I perma ban Kazix and I I haven't even seen an Olaf yet. I've seen even that people don't really know to counter, and most of the time you don't they don't even get to. And I think on mid you need to know much more the map you need to have that macro awareness because on jungle you just do rotations rotations you kite the camps you do a gank top you do a gank bot whatever man i'm curious if i was first at damage oh no i wasn't kaiser was obviously but i dealt actually 4k more than Ahri. you can't see it. so yeah into the jungle you can have a nicer time. They are prob they're probably going to nerf her because at the highest elo, elos into the jungle, she has a huge pick rate with a 53% win rate. Generally, you are losing against Hecarines, maybe if they gank better, but not necessarily one versus one. You're losing against Kha'Zix if you don't ban it. One versus one, you're not going to int a lot unless you get caught by the Rengar, get caught by the Xin. Oh, against the Xin, I, I suppose the statistics aren't in for us. So that's why on mid lane it's much more difficult because you're going to be a lot against a lot of AP mages which, who has stun setup, so it's very hard to actually live through all of that. You're going to be against junglers and junglers that flash on you all the time, against duos that do that. Same on bot maybe, but it's safer a bit because you have the support, you also have the CC from the from the uh, support on mid, you have to do it on your own, and if your jungler has no CC, so with Kha'Zix, then good luck hitting that W on jungle, when you gank top and Rector or Pantheon, or even any tanks, you're gonna get that, or even a Camille, you get Jax, Bruisers have stuns, uh, Birelia has root, just Fiora, I, I think Fiora is amongst the few who doesn't have anything, any CC, so in the jungle it's much more easy to set up, to get set up from others, right? But onto the mid lane, you're gonna struggle because of this, because of the fact that rarely Nunu will come to your and successfully gank. Rarely you're gonna get that jungler who actually comes to your lane often and helps you. And you gotta do it more on your own. In the jungle, you don't have to do that much on your own. But you kind of do it on your own, but all you have to do is be careful. So while the jungle is simpler, so to say, not necessarily by the macro, but by the micro, because you are, you can even play with Fezar and you will never die. I'm pretty sure you can never die if you're careful unless someone puts a word in a bash and you step into it, which is the case against any jungler, to be honest. And on mid, you're going to be against lots of assassins, so that's difficult. You're going to be against a lot of mages, that can be difficult. You're going to be... You have very few good matchups, that's the problem. It, not good matchups necessarily, but easy matchups. When you play other champions, you don't have that many hard matchups, okay? If I play Pantheon mid, I have very few hard matchups because he's insanely strong. But then again... Depends on the comp, depends on a lot. Uh, what can I say? Twisted Fate has an easier time with most matchups. Even Aurelion Soul, I could say. Because he has that stun. Having a stun on an ability is insanely good in this game. And your W, nope. Someone on Discord uh, said something like, what if the Talia has scripts? Well, it's funny enough, if you have scripts on Talia, you can't even... You can still die to Irelias, you can still die to Zeds, you can still die to Akal, to anyone who actually flashes your W. You can't have scripts on this champion and still suck easily <laughs> compared to any ADC who can just like Ezreal keep the distance. So it's funny, it's an argument, it's a funny argument. But I don't advise, don't buy scripts, they are there, they just make you worse because then you have a higher perception of yourself. Don't use them, you're gonna get banned, they are bad. But yeah, this was the mid guide, I hope you enjoyed it. I got plus 20, I'm at around, around 186 LP, exact, exactly at around, a, at a 186 LP in Grandmaster. I'm gonna try to reach challenger with jungle or with a pantheon maybe mid or top because I like that now. I feel he's also strong. And yeah, two more videos. Cheers. Have a nice wonderful weekend ahead.